Okay, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the fighters from the, the fighter standing to my left, in the blue corner. He hails from Loughborough. He's 32 years old, stands 6 feet 6 inches tall, and weighed in at 105 kilos. He fights for Team Rapout, and has a mixed martial arts record of two contests with two rings. Let's hear it for James would have given the uh, way for the cage door to be shut the first of our heavyweights always good to see a heavyweight bout on here and this is pro rules three five minute rounds got university lecturer James Hurrell the taller of the two fighters fighting Andrew Galotti from the Wolves layer a very good gym an excellent gym uh, coach of Mario Sakata Dave Jackson up there it's got some very good strikes coming in. Ooh, a very a little, little uh, slight use of the head there, I think, from uh, from James, but no complaints. Now, I think, it, in my opinion, um, James should be trying to get a little bit of distance. He don't want to get his back to the fence. Keep some distance. He's working those knees quite well inside. He's using his shoulder pressure in to um, avoid the chest to chest. He's blocking takedown attempts trying to grab the friends oh. James six foot six he's not anymore not so tall on his back though is he <laughs> so we've got Andrew Galotti on top here not to be mistaken for Andrew Galotta the heavyweight boxer but for the likes of Lennox Lewis and Mike Tyson this is a different guy Anyway, working well from from the top. He's in half guard. Yeah, he's he's pretty much just holding on there from the bottom, James. So there's not really much, I can't say there's much work going on. He's um, he looks to have a very strong base on top. Um, James has switched his hips a couple of times. Can't reverse him. Oh, just as I say that, he manages to reverse him, swept him into exa exactly the same position, but the other way around. Not trying to get his head free. Let's see Again, if he can if he hold he a good can, position. He oh, he lifted his hips, hips very, very high. high. Way too high. A common mistake we see. Against the fence here, though, he though. can maybe start to land strikes, but it also helps the fighter. If if you use a cage regularly, which the Wolves they have a cage in the gym, it is actually easier to stand up with the cage wall next year from this position. He needs to be getting an underhook on the far side though, the right hand underhook. And he's not doing that, he's actually letting pass into full mount. James not really getting now too much distance on those strikes. Against, well, I, I was just going to say, against the cage, that does prevent you getting distance. But he's, um, he's now come away from the cage and he's got the back. And he does have the, uh, the triangle body lock, the figure four body lock. That's those long legs again. Yeah, another tall man with long limbs. Looking for this choke. I think he's got the chin in, but... He's got his chunky quite deep. Again, now, with this being pro rules, um, of course, he can strike to the head, but punches and elbows are allowed. No strikes to the back of it, of the head, though. And that's a nice body lock. He's got it locked around, and he's got the foot locked around the, um, the back of the leg as well when he needs to. It's obviously a position that um, he uses often, but having long legs, it, it will be something he's used to. Oh, and good to get out of there. Good roll and scramble. Very, very well. 
Let's see if Galati can make it uncomfortable for uh, for Hurrell here on the uh, from the top position in his guard, working well on the ground and pound. Not a comfortable position for uh, James to be in. Hurrell needs to be holding in and looking for submissions, climbing his legs up, keeping his posture. Or oh, when he gives him distance like this, this is when he's uh, landing the heavy shots. And that's all he's doing, he's creating the space for the heavy shots. Yeah, I think Hurrell's using it to try and off-balance him though. I think with those long legs, he's looking tired here. I think uh, some of those shots are taking the toll. I think we've got a little bit of blood coming from uh, Hurrell's nose. From the distance, uh, from a distance, oh. you might not be able to hear, but those those body shots are coming in heavy, and they will play, play a part. And yeah, hammer fist into the stomach. The, the, these are the sort of things that take the toll over a three five minute round fight. Yeah, not often utilised either by um, uh, novice fighters, but you, he's using them very well here. He's given his leg here, but I don't think um, he's in much danger from it. Well, he's dropped so back for a leg lock himself. So heel hooks are allowed in uh, in the pro rules. That's the 10 second yeah. warning there. Maybe kind of a neutral push. leg lock position they were both in there. Looking for a scramble. Always nice to finish on top, which uh, Golotti Golotti has does. done. How would you score that, Andy? I think I'd give that round to uh, Andrew Galotti, to be honest. I think uh, he seems to have the, the better of the position. and. Uh, 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 apart from the uh, the body lock and the uh, submission attempt, uh, but he, he did well to roll out and escape that, in my opinion. How would you have scored it? I'm glad I'm commentating and not a judge <laughs> once again. I'm sure they're getting decent advice in the uh, in the corner from the Wolves layer and the uh, rep out gyms. It's a very evenly matched fight again. A credit to the uh, the Fight UK promoter and matchmaker. Yeah, if there's one thing about Alistair, he does know how to match fights. He's always well matched, even fights on this show. Now it'll, it'll be interesting to see how much. Um, those body shots that took the toll on the cardio of uh, James Hurrell. Yeah, he had a, a bleedy nose as well, so uh, I could have stopped his his breathing being as good. A little stuck with the feet there before he threw a jab. I'm a little, a little confused as to what went on there. I think, I think just, there um, might have been a bit of a balance issue. Anyway, he's uh, ended up in top position. James Hurrell on top in uh, the in side control. Uh, half guard, sorry, as we uh, similar position to where we saw in the first round. Now let's see if he can create some distance and start working some uh, working some elbows. Maybe push push down on the face, drop down the elbow, hand to elbow or something. Yeah, nice to see him sort of spread himself out a little more, you know, and and, and create that space. As you can see, he can, he can block a leg, uh, a, a limb, really well with his uh, with his leg, and create some yeah, some room yeah. to let the shots go. But he's not he's not really making the most well, of uh, his. Galot is looking for the uh, when he's putting the arm through the legs. There, he's actually looking for the out the back sweep from uh, half guard. He uh, he had the position. I'm not actually sure why he didn't go for it. It was, it was good technique, he just didn't he didn't attempt to finish, so... Yeah, See, not, the, the problem with doing stuff like that is, if you put two hands between the legs, ready to go for the sweep, you are actually leaving your head open to ground and pound, is where um, James Hull should be taking advantage of that and landing some shots. At the moment, there's not much damage being done. No, he's, he's not really making the most of his uh, position here. I think the referee's done a good job there, picking them both up. Yeah, definitely. James looking let's pretty see, tired. Let's see how the, um, the stuck footwork of uh, James comes now. I think that's the best idea. Use a bit of movement, take a breather, pop a jab be out. Using that range, using those long. Oh, they will give his back. Saturday no, night, right hand. Yeah, you don't want to be doing that. I think James is actually exhausted. 
unless he's got slidey feet. I was going to say, do you think there's a problem with his feet? And Because he, he did look to slip earlier on as well. It might be jelly legs from tiredness. He's uh, looking no, 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 a little worse for wear here. Back elbow from the bottom there. It was uh, a little bit of desperation, but interesting nonetheless. And it looks like um, Galot is going to work to take the back. Looks nice to control this, flattened him out, and I, I think with the tiredness of uh, Purrell, I think this could be the end of the fight. Yeah, they've got a tap. Very good win for Andrew Galot there. Yeah, to, that's a good very one. well tied his opponent out and beat him. Yeah, I very think good. He wore him down with those body shots, took the gas out of him, took the fight out of him, and then finished him with the rear naked show. Well done, Andrew Gallo. 